Hello everyone and welcome to eStamps. Today I'm going to be bidding at a postal stamp auction. Now a postal auction is slightly different to a physical auction, as there isn't an actual sale room to go to, instead people just put in bids and whoever is the highest is the winner. So let's get the catalogue and see if there's anything we want to bid for. So I've got my massive catalogue here, and we're going to have a look through and see if there's anything we want to bid for. Now this here is the most valuable lot in the auction. It's a penny black imprimatur. I'll show you the estimate and we'll see what it sells for later in the video. So I've been through the auction and I've found two lots I'm going to bid for. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. Now the estimate for the first lot is £25 and the estimate for the second is 9 Now I have a technique in auctions which is to never bid a round number. So I'm going to bid £33 for the first one, and £13 for the second one. Now I just have to wait a few days to see if I've won. But spoiler alert, if you're watching this, I've definitely won at least one of them. But while we wait, let's look at some more valuable stamps. So the prices realised have just been put up, so now we need to check if we've won. So I've won the first stamp for £31, and the second one for 12 And now I just need to wait for them to arrive, and I'll open them. So the stamps have arrived. Here's the first one I bid on. I won this for £31. Now this stamp is a penny lilac, which normally is not a very valuable stamp. However, this stamp is die 1, which means it has 14 dots in each corner. As well as this, it also has a specimen overprint and is in the bluish lilac shade. And it's a very nice stamp, this one. It's got full gum and is unmounted. And this is the second lot I bought. This cost £12 and it's a George V photographer set. And this is again a very nice set. All the stamps are very lightly mounted mint. So if you want to know more about bidding in a stamp auction or are considering bidding on some lots yourself, I suggest you watch my video about stamp auctions. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.